Well, in the Super Santa taxi this week, and it had to be because it is, of course, Women's Day in South Africa. Actually, when we're recording this, Ayanda, it's Women's Day. It's Women's Day. It's Women's Day, yeah. and it's National Women's Week. It's all of these things. Yes. So you're a perfect fit. And I want to tell everybody, for those who don't know, it's Ayanda Tibete. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. Well, it's not your first appearance on Super Saturday. For a start, you're on the opening logo, and we had you at the Durban July. Yes, how lucky am I to be in the presence of such great company. Absolutely loved it working with you guys and very intimidating, I must say. Well, we'll get on to that now and talk about intimidating. <laughs> I want to start because Anele's back in studio and oh, I've girl. heard rumours. <laughs> I mean, I haven't experienced them, but is she difficult to work with? Oh, she's super tough. I'm joking. <laughs> Anela's like she a mother She was worried bear. there for a moment, eh? <laughs> I'm sure. Anela's like a mother bear. She literally takes care of everyone on set. If you want snacks in between, she's the girl that's giving out all the snacks. Yes. She is an absolutely caring person, but more than that, she's super talented. I wasn't going to start with the personal life, but I know no, with the neighbours thing going on and stuff, which we'll get to a bit later, that you, you newly um, mother, Yay. you're a mo new mother, I'm which a is so mother, exciting. Mother. What's it like? Because we must have a lot of viewers, um, a lady viewers out yes. there, who are going through the same experience. Yeah. How are you taking to it? Look, it's a challenge in terms of just um, building my life around my new role, mm. um, but it's the best role I've ever had. It is so wonderful. If, if I knew how wonderful it was to have a child, I would have had them sooner. <laughs> What I love is that, you know, um, it being woman run, so, you know, uh, you are really, you can be a multifaceted woman. You can do anything you put your, your mind to. And I think I learned this when I was quite young. My mom used to sell like beverages at the house, but she was also a nurse, but she was also uh, a seamstress. So she did so many things. And I just learned there that you don't have to be one thing. You don't have to constrain yourself to one thing just because you said you're that. Um, I think we are here on earth, put here on earth to really explore our talents, explore everything and empty out everything that you have to give you know it moves us on to super picks which is yes. actually the main reason why you have teamed up with super sport yes. because you are one of our ambassadors for super picks one of your ambassadors and actually a lot of people ask me on social media why would you be on a sports show we've never even heard you speak about sport. and i said i'm representing all those girlfriends that have to sit there through all those matches not understanding anything Absolutely. and i'm going to help them understand yeah. you see understand soccer understand everything that's going on and we're going to take this journey to together so yeah super picks is super interesting to me um play for free win for real Absolutely. and we're making people millionaires they're guessing and every they're, week yeah we're getting into it yeah and even if you don't win 30,000 rand consolation right yes if you come close to mm. uh, to the predictions yeah the thing is right and you will know this it's a role reversal in my house because people yeah. think i know football but uh, my better half yeah. has actually got more football knowledge than all of us put yeah. together she's crazy yeah, yeah. She so crazy. it's absolutely amazing and um yeah she's my secret yeah, so I'm here. She's giving mm. you, you well. It's coming from a good place because she's, <laughs> as I said, far more knowledgeable than I. But she did tell me a little secret about you. She what? said, oh. she said, you done with Chiefs. Oh. You won out. <laughs> tell us about that. From as young as I can remember, I've always said I'm part of Chiefs. And guess how I chose that? Because I just thought people that support Chiefs are really cute and pretty. Yeah? Okay. I thought you were going to tell me it was <laughs> a Jessica Matuong thing. No, no, it was mm. really about the looks, but which is very shallow. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I used to support Chiefs, but I'm really having a change of heart mm. lately. If you want to pitch your football club to Ayanda to get her oh, to support like your idea. football club, <laughs> yes, then you can campaign and send us why Ayanda should be supporting a team in the DSTB Premiership. And Jessica, if you're watching, you can still say, well, stick with Chiefs. Stick with Chiefs, um, yeah. And whoever in the Premier League. Man United, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see, we'll see how that works. Jose is saying, you know, you can't touch Chelsea, Manchester United or Spurs. He's been there, he's done that. You've got to and pick another not, one. It's not working. I think if I would choose another one, it would, it would probably be Man City, but we'll have to see. I, think I mean, they won City. last time. They win so, all the time. You know They're I mean? like sundowns. Yeah, so, sundowns. Yeah, they keep winning. Yeah, yeah, they keep winning. <laughs> anyway, Ayanda, thank you so much for coming thank into you, this yeah. taxi with us. This is amazing. And we're going you. home. Thank you for having me. Yeah, let's go home, neighbor. <laughs>